Hey guys, Tarmac FFS here on our second video. We're going to follow up on the tutorial that we just went through and show you behind the scenes how I made it all happen. All the hard work to make it uh, easy and understandable by newbies joining. So we'll go down below. Uh, and anybody can check this out. It's protected by World Guard, so you can come check out how it looks. So really, the meat and potatoes of it, of course, is the outside here. Uh, this is where we start. So this is, uh, see there, follow you over the road. Comes around, portal goes from there into this room. And then that kind of goes off into a zigzaggy pattern all the way around, all the way there, upstairs, down the hallway, to the elevator. So the way these work this is from craft book. Real simple here. Uh, this sign determines the IC number. So you leave that. Uh, oh yeah, give myself. Yeah, C sickness, motion sickness. You leave the first line blank. Put the IC number on the second line in brackets. Put an S on the end if it's self-powered, and then uh, whatever the options are, the third and or fourth line if they have any. So this is uh, proximity detection within three blocks. It'll uh, it'll trigger that. So see. Move away, move toward it, and then uh, I've got these blocks set to do uh, tell raw commands. Just found a generator online. There's no need to run them by hand. It's a little arduous, if you ask me. Uh, so that is, they're all the same until we get up to the the dispensers here. So these are infinite dispensers. That's another plugin hooked up to proximity sensors, so that it pops out the book when you get up to them. I thought it was uh, more fun, more interactive than just loading the player up with books. That way they, they get them as they're learning about the uh, the features and the plugins of the server. All these little funky looking breakouts here, uh, these are all just the uh, lights, the backlighting for the signs. Um, little chiseled blocks there for some decoration. And then we come down here, and this is kind of the end here. Uh, proximity detection fires off the fireworks. Get into that in the next video, and then uh, sends a message to um, uh, what is this? <laughs> okay, this is a pulsar delay. This this waits 100 ticks. Sends a message up to this command block so that when you get off the elevator, you're the closest to it. Uh, Tarmac FS is now completed the tutorial. Let's everybody know on the server. Uh, and then these ones just kind of, this one tells you how to use the elevator when you get up to the elevator. And then uh, this one adds the user to, or adds, makes them a, a member of the group members, uh, which gives them their privileges. Uh, it's a, kind of a little unnecessary, except for that's the way that first spawn works because. Uh, with the, there was some conflict between um, uh, first spawn plugin as well as essentials as well as um, what was the other plugin that I uh, had an issue with uh, perhaps it was world guard uh, or multiverse so anyway uh, that's the the adding the the user to the group is how I get around. Uh, the first spawn location being different. So they spawn down in the room the first time, spawn up here uh, every time after that or wherever their bed is and whatnot. So that's that. Uh, if you guys want to jump on the server, feel free to. You can walk down there, check it out. I'll be improving it and I'll also be improving the upstairs hub. I just kind of threw this together, uh, but I do want to make this more uh, user friendly as well. Uh, maybe I'll do a let's play in the future. Until then, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff so I can keep making videos or however that works. I'm new to this. I just know that uh, you know, Seth Bling and all them always say it, so might as well jump on the bandwagon. Until next time.